Avocet Infusion System Overview. For full instructions on the Avocet Infusion Pump, refer to the user manual found on our website. In this video, you will be shown an overview of the Avocet Infusion Pump and associated accessories. Avocet Infusion Pump. The pump is compact and ambulatory, providing controlled infusions in one of four program types, continuous, intermittent, taper, and PCA. The pump can be pre-programmed via the Avocet programming tool, a dedicated PC application. If the pump is used without a pre-program, the program type will be continuous. Pump user interface. The pump user interface includes screen, operational buttons, LED indicators, administration set cassette socket, Administration set release latch, battery compartment release latch, speaker. Hard keys. Working clockwise, the following operational keys are on off, prime, bolus, multifunction, start pause, minus, plus, LED indicators. The run indicator flashes green when the infusion is running. The alarm indicators flash red or yellow depending on the alarm priority. The LED will flash red for a high priority alarm and yellow for a low priority alarm. Administration sets. Administration sets are dedicated to the Avocet infusion pump and are intended for single use only and are available for infusing from a medication reservoir, fluid bag and syringe. The fluid bag has a covered spike end, and all three sets have a patient connection end. An extension line may be used with the sets. Each set includes an anti-free flow valve, which is closed when the white release cap is removed to protect against accidental fluid flow. Connecting the administration set to the pump. To connect the administration set to the pump, remove the white clip and position the set underneath the pump. Gently push it into the pump's cassette socket. You should hear two clicks indicating full engagement. Verify that it is securely attached. To release the set, push down on the release latch. How to install batteries. The pump is powered by three AA batteries. Open the battery compartment located at the back of the pump by sliding down the latch. Install new batteries according to the plus minus illustration displayed inside the compartment. Close the battery compartment door. Cradle. The cradle is an external holder used to attach the pump to an IV pole or bed rail. Change the cradle angle by pulling the cradle from its base and rotating it to the required orientation. It can be rotated vertically or horizontally to keep the pump display conveniently oriented. To mount the cradle onto a pole, position it where desired and rotate the adjustment knob to tighten. To attach the pump to the cradle, align the pump with the bottom and press the pump back firmly until the cradle's top latch clicks securely into the pump. To release the pump, hold the pump securely while pushing back firmly on the top latch. Cassette lock. The cassette lock is a transparent secure cover to prevent disconnection of the medication reservoir from the pump and access to the pump buttons and battery compartment remain available. To lock the medication reservoir to the pump, align the Avocet cassette lock logo with the pump logo and slide the cassette lock into the pump. Turn the key clockwise to lock. The key can only be removed when it's locked. To remove the cassette lock, insert the key, push it firmly and turn anti-clockwise. Hold the pump and slide the cassette lock up, removing it from the pump. If using a cassette lock, Install this first before attaching the pump to the cradle. For additional information and the safe use of the product, refer to the user manual found on our website. 